What's up, peeps? We are out. We just had a push day. It's Saturday, and we the cars out. Probably gonna um, we're gonna. It was raining this morning. You can see the weather, not the best. Um, but we just did finish a workout. I want to go take photos. That's the idea. Um, so yeah, today's Saturday. We're going to. I actually have plans to go to the city tomorrow um, with Nikki. We're gonna do some like landscapes. Uh, I think I'm taking the GTR again, barring like it's not. Because I told um, Nikki too, barring it's not a. Uh, barring it's not like a full on uh, torrential downpour. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the car. So if not, we're still going regardless. I'm gonna shoot her and probably some landscape stuff. Uh, I'm gonna see if also I can clean the car. Um, yeah, so plan is to take the car down to the city. Never been down there. Um, shoot some of the buildings. But regardless, we're going down there. Are we taking the GTR? I don't know. But right now, we are going to shoot photos. We're gonna drive around and find something local. So let's see what we find. All right, guys, so we found this one spot. This is what I'm looking at right here. So right, very, uh, oh, very like wooded area. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. All right, cars right here. So like the idea is to, uh, to capture the entire image. All right, so let's set you guys down and let's start shooting. So I found another spot on the way here. I'm kind of just winging it. I don't really have spots in mind, but uh, I found another spot on the way here. So it's private parking, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna shoot this spot real quick and I'll show you guys what I'm working with. We're setting up some long exposure shots. I found this other garage. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm kind of scared to record too much because it's like, oh, it's under surveillance, but this is the shot I want. Let me see. Right, with the 135. And then I'm gonna turn the car around, take that shot. Go to the, I'm gonna go to the front, take this shot, looking back, because I like the white wall. And then we're gonna flip the car around, do this shot head on, and yeah, you get the idea. I like this area though. I don't like that the lights down there though are yellow and like these are white. But it's cool, it's quiet, it's a Saturday. And then we got the little, uh, we got the 32 little word on play there. Yeah. And then we're gonna go home, we're gonna get some food. And then yeah, I think I'm gonna take this to the city tomorrow. But otherwise, we are, regardless, we are going to the city like I said. So, that's the idea. So that's how this shot came out. And again, right, we're gonna be able to do a lot in post. But yeah, let's go get the rest of the shots and let's head out of here. Woo! Okay, guys, that's it. We're wrapping up. So I got the car in this position. We shot over there. We went from the backside and shot forward. That's the idea there. It was cool. Um, I think I could do a lot of it in post because um, the LCD, like, although this is like Sony's newest camera and the A7R4 was before it, I'm noticing the LCD is completely trash on the on the R4 and the S3. Like, the picture quality on the LCD looks amazing. So I'm looking at the pictures on the 
R on the R4 after I shoot it, and I'm like, ah, it doesn't look that great, but I gotta remember, like, that LCD sucks, and every t it happens all the time, and then when I put it into Lightroom, it looks great, so uh, we're gonna get to the house, we're gonna grab food, put this away, and then we'll start probably editing the photos tonight. So if I don't pick it up tonight, we'll see you guys in the morning. Okay. Sick. Okay. You see me? Yeah. I'm never gonna get over this low light. All right, back at the gym. It's 7, 38, one or the other. Um, shit, that's what I forgot, my laptop. Um, so yeah, we came back to the gym. Uh, it looks like there's people in the gym. Pretty quiet, we're gonna turn on some music and we're gonna edit. I'm gonna show you guys like presets, this, this, and that. Let me get my laptop and we'll go upstairs real quick. All right, guys, so we're back up here. We're at the gym. So these are the photos we've got. So I think right away, I know a lot of my favorite ones right now. Um, they're the parking garage ones. So this is, these are raw. This is what we got. But this is already post edited, right? So I have to take the noise down a little, but I'll slow the shutter speed down on this one. Um, these are just, uh, I opened up the angle wide open. So see, I tried. I tried this to get really creative, right? It's cool, but it didn't like complete the total image. But I do like the setting of the actual photo itself, so I actually reshot it. Um, this actually, this photo is super, super edited. Um, not super, super edited, but uh, just a lot of uh, a lot of post went into this one. Uh, this is a couple of images. Um, this is another good shot. What I thought was really cool, and I think I showed it in the video, is, um, is these. All right, so that's obviously unique, uh, the 32 spot. So, right, I, I slowed the shutter speed down a little bit to get this, uh, to get, like, optimal lighting. Um, it didn't work so much on these photos, uh, like, because there's just a lot, of, it's a lot of noise on these. I mean, this one came out good, but you can see the surround. There's a lot of extra light, like, over here. In this photo, I was out of the light, so it was mainly just my, uh, just the headlights I had to capture. Um, this photo came out amazing, and I think, yeah, this is probably my favorite photo. This might be the one I throw up. Um, I really, really took my time with this shot. It's not so in focus, right? This is on the 24, which, by the way, I think I'm gonna, um... I think I'm gonna actually get the 24 off of the off of the S3, I think I'm gonna buy the 12 24. Cause every time, so the 24 was thrown, obviously I'm not shooting on the S3. Uh, this, the lens was swapped onto the R4 and I shot this on the R4 with the 24. But man, just something about the 24 and all like, just all the surrounding area it can capture is just so, it's so different. Um, yeah, this isn't, this was a, again, same photo, just, uh, right landscape portrait like see that's so great um, and then I'm just gonna lower actually the exposure so see that looks great I mean that's a preset that I have big blue um, the only thing I changed on it is exposure um, this I haven't gone through any of these photos but these were my outside shots um, so you can see so yeah I have a lot of right so for is this up all the way so for sake of the video, right? So this is the raw photo, just as neutral as it gets. My presets are as follows. So I have big blue, um, foreign fade. This is Harlow. Actually, I got um, I got inspiration from this photo from uh, actually Jack Harlow uh, in What's Poppin'. It's like very, uh, the album cover was very like specific. So I actually implemented that. This is uh this is what Mikey developed for the gym, um, so with this one we'll obviously uh, put a gradient on the subject, which for this scenario would be the car, and we would really saturate it. So um, and then like leave because the aesthetics in the gym are very black and white, so there's not much color to begin with, uh, minus the kilo trees and everything. This one was actually my first preset I ever created, oldie. Um, 
it's just like because I, I like to go to like abandoned uh not abandoned but just like quiet roads like old uh remodel remodernized i don't know actually just modernized is the word just modernized old structures where like it, it's in a very rural area but the obviously the house would be newer refurbished or just uh modernized duh for lack of better terms um and it would just kind of stick out like a sore thumb but the environment itself would give off like a very old t uh, like an old vintage vibe so that's why i created that and then this is snapple iced tea um which is just very very dark literally like snapple like lemon iced tea i drink it all the time the reason why i create is um again very dark very vi dark and vibrant at the same time because if you see my exposure is low but if i crank this one up um you can actually see the tones are very because everything is washed and vibrant at the same time um it's a very like rich dark tone so that's why i go with that but that's as it sits just as a click uh staple is just like if i'm ever in a pinch um is it gonna load yeah staple is if i'm ever in a pinch and i'm just like oh i need to throw a quick edit on this is literally like if you click auto in lightroom uh starbucks i actually created for um and you're gonna meet her tomorrow nikki um because she likes the very pastel type of uh green look so you can see it throws like a green hue over it and then victoria is actually like a very anime um design and where i got that from is actually for all my spanish peeps out there i'll show you right now um so this guy um he's one of my favorite artists he came out with a song, but the cover to the song is, the color to the platform is very, very vibrant. So as you can see, um, but that's where I got that from. So obviously I threw that in to the picture frame and went super, super like anim animated type of thing. But Big Blue, Foreign Fade, and Snapple Ice Tea are my very go-to with the car itself. Um, they're just like a staple it it it, uh, it enhances the blue kind of dims down the other colors because obviously my car is blue um but yeah if you guys like this stuff um yeah like see this is this is blake this is big blue on it right now so big blue right snap ice tea right i would have to lower the exposure obviously but oldie oldie's a staple too um but you know right away which ones um and i would just lower the exposure obviously because this was a high shutter spot um high shutter shot i should say um so this is literally big blue but you can just see up here my exposure is way 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 cranked down um but yeah i mean if you guys like this i've always thought about like selling lightroom presets um if you guys are interested in it obviously let me know or maybe leave a like on the video if that's what you guys want um but it's cool like i did it for my cars and it's very nice because like let's just go for example to a photo of me right like this boom that's me sexy um but this is uh actually snapple iced tea that's exactly if i go big blue right you can just see it does that to me right but then i would i would fit it to my degree um the way i see fit right this was a very infamous shot this is the one i posted actually this is snapple iced tea actually and if i went big blue it concentrates more on the car um but the snap ice tea kind of gives it that again that dark rich deep um tone and actually now that i clicked on this picture i actually got some uh what's the word i got some wow i can't think oh i got some motivation from uh to create these presets uh these specifically um for my uh build and photography um because i actually shoot very late at night so like these dark rich tones actually help so much because it's a darker photo to begin with darker photo to begin with and uh i rarely shoot in the morning so usually you can see a lot of my like this is going to be very bright if i do this right now like boom like see so i would click on so see because i shot in day so right we'll click big blue as a staple and then we'll just crank it down boom like that, I would literally post minus like maybe correct a few errors or maybe expose the car a little bit more, but just like stuff like that, like, uh, boom, this is the same photo, like big blue, boom, 
so you can see it kind of desaturates the green but you see how right away you're like oh i don't know what the you know what the uh what the premise of the photo is or the concentration again like i think sorry big blue again boom like you see how right away you see the car is automatically you're like oh a car you know you're like oh it's an effect because again the filter complements the car right that's the goal of these filters why i chose them why i made them what i made them um like look again we don't know what the concentrate is it the leaves is it the is it the real estate is it obviously we know it's the car but like as soon as i flick to this boom the attention goes straight to the car again all right so that that was the idea with all of that so we're gonna cap it there because that was a nice 10 minute um inside the loop but yeah if you guys like this style um maybe i'll make it a little cleaner but if you like this style of it uh let me know and we will uh we could do a lot more of it or maybe when i shoot nikki or vice versa when i go out and shoot photos maybe um this was fun uh this is long i can see but this was fun so yeah if you guys leave a like let me know and i'll be posting more of this stuff but we're gonna pick up in the morning as well because we are going to the city and i took the car here so now i gotta take it home it is 9 27 i don't know if you can see that up here um but yeah let's take the car home get some rest we gotta charge these batteries up get the footage off of it and we'll catch you guys in the morning guys right, we're back we're back it's 6 40 it's the same day so i didn't record a lot in the city um super busy but um we got a lot of shots I don't have time to pull them off. We're at the gym. Uh, I don't have time to pull them off and throw them on the laptop just tonight. Um, but we're gonna, I just wanted to say, we're gonna close the video out here. If you wanna see those photos, follow my Instagram. I'm gonna have them up uh, there. I'm gonna put a lot of the shots up. Uh, but as you saw, we took it out, we did that. I think maybe I got a few shots in the city. I can't remember. But um, if I end the video here, then we'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, or if I overlay some of the footage, if I have time to do that, then we'll do that. But, uh, next video will be actually starting tonight because we're going to hit a squat session with Drew right now. Um, and we're heading to Connecticut. So that'll be where the next video takes off. So we'll see you then.